I was shocked to my core in my life. And one of those things that God told me to stop doing was to follow Beyonce through a dream. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lindile, aka Sli. If you are new, welcome. You are welcome. So today I am sharing something very different to what I normally share, but I am sharing it because I have been convicted to share it because this was this part of my life was quite a major part of my life, and I think that it will help some of you who are maybe going through the same battles, trying to make a decision what to do. And it will be very clear for you once this video is done on the decision that you need to take. So as you would have seen on the title of my video, it's all about Beyonce. So for as long as I can remember, everybody that knew me knew that I loved Jesus and I loved Beyonce. My family members, my friends, also who share the same passion and love for Beyonce, would know that we do not discuss about Beyonce, do not come for Beyonce. So this comes from a long time ago, like in the 90s when Destiny's Child came to be. They came and they wowed all the young girls. We were so excited. A girls group consisting of black young women who looked similar to us, who were gifted and talented. We were like, you know what? I'm gonna be Kelly, I'm gonna be Yorante, I'm gonna be Latoya, I'm gonna be Lativa. So we all chose who we wanted to be. If I'm being honest, I chose to be Kelly for the first part of the few years of loving Destiny's Child. And then as Destiny's Child, you know, departed and they all came to their own individual lights, I started following Beyonce. Nothing wrong with Kelly, still got love for Kelly, but I was focused on Beyonce's growth and just stardom and so forth and so forth so the reason why i'm sharing this video is because we praise these people publicly and um i think it's only fair when we are convicted especially if you call yourself a believer by anything we also share it publicly so i didn't share this when it came to a warning to me that about three years ago around 2019 towards the, towards the end of 2019 i was just silenced by the warning and mind you i had received a lot of warning from god but i was just ignoring it because we are not renouncing beyonce we are not we are not we are not you know and you know when you have made up your mind that yes i hear what people are saying yes i see what she's doing but listen i am not going to stop watching beyonce i'm not going to stop following her I'm not going to stop supporting her. It's just, it's a made up mind. You guys can't tell me otherwise. So that blessed assurance of just don't even come for me because I'm not going to hear it. I was that person. Okay. Part of the beehive fan. So obviously with the nudges of the Holy Spirit, they're very, you know, God is very kind to us. He nudges us. He pokes us little by little, you know, and you keep on saying, ah, ah, no, uh, uh, uh. you know, because you, you basically asking me to, you know, rewrite my entire childhood, you know, my influences. So I was like, no, God, you know, people are just so, you know, conspiracy theories. And I'm not about that life. But in 2019, I had a dream about Beyonce. I'm not going to talk too much about the dream, but the, the dream shook me to my core. I am a dreamer since I was a child. I receive revelation, visions, and all these things during my sleep. And even when I'm wide awake, God will show me something. Sometimes I don't think much of it. But as I've grown older, grown closer to Christ, I do not ignore this anymore. So one thing for sure, when I received this dream, I was shocked to my core. So I didn't want to like act like it didn't happen. So at this time, I was actually seeking God's face in my overall life. I was what you call in the season of wilderness. I had shut myself out of the world. And a lot of things that I was seeking for were from God. And God was showing me a lot of things. And one of those things, this probably took probably seven months in that year where I received revelation about many things in my life. And one of those things that God told me to stop doing was to follow Beyonce through a dream. I didn't tell anybody about it. I literally woke up like a robot. I put on my slippers 
I went into my cupboard, took out the DVDs. These are concerts of Destiny's Child. These are DVDs of all the concerts where she's wearing gold, where she's released Deja Vu. It was all the merchandise that I have ever purchased. I had DVDs, I had the real deal. I had subscribed to her music through Spotify. I had her merchandise, uh, Ivy Park. You know, probably I had spent over a lot of money on Beyonce. And there was no cost to be spared when we were talking about Beyonce, okay? We are gonna pay for Beyonce. It is what it is. But that morning, like I said, I got the dream. I think it was the last straw. God was like, enough is enough. You clearly, you are clearly not getting the signs that I'm giving you. I don't even want to talk about that dream. I have renounced it in my head. I have asked the Holy Spirit to fill me with things that are of lightness, of his good report. And I'm not going to about to choose between Beyonce and my eternity. Beyonce is just a human being who happens to be famous, who happens to be a singer. She is not going to cost me my eternity. It is not that deep. So I woke up in that after that dream with that enough. Okay, I threw away her merchandise. I actually was mourning at this point because I was mourning the fact that she has chosen this lifestyle. She has, um, you know, one of the people that I follow on social media, very influential person, Jackie Hill Perry, if I'm not mistaken. She was saying that Beyonce right now is it's a case study. You know, she yes, she is quite big and mega famous, but she is a case study for for things that Christians really need to wake up to. We can't ignore these signs anymore. If you call yourself a child of God, you know it's God's character. You know how God. Uh, demands us to be holy he knows that we're not perfect but there's certain things about our walk in this life that we just cannot ignore anymore so after obviously you know reading my word asking God for revelation fasting that that whole year one of the things that he told me to do was to stop following Beyonce and I did I did and I didn't even tell anybody. I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell my friends. Actually, if you're listening to this and you know me, you don't know. The only people that know were my friends, I mean, were my family because they are always around me. And I only told them probably around 2021 when I went back home and told them all of them, no guys, I don't listen to Beyonce anymore. Don't ask me why, I just don't listen to Beyonce anymore. And my dad was like, no, my angel, Beyonce is so talented, blah, 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 like that. You know, I don't listen to Beyonce anymore. So, I had made up my mind on things of Christ. You see how easy it is to make up your mind on things that are not going to add you any value and things that are going to really add value, not just to yourself, but to your generation, to people who are actually watching you. Okay, so I actually wrote some things down so I don't actually forget what I wanted to share. But one of the things that really shook me to my core was just the level of obsession and the things that Beyonce was starting to do in her career. As you study the Bible, you see a lot of correlation to what God says we shouldn't be doing, whether it's practices of divination, practices of worshiping the dead or seeking mediums, you know, practices really that goes to idolizing someone. If you can't let go of your favorite toy or your favorite superstar, you, that's an idol. Okay, if you cannot let go, sorry, I'm just trying to find my notes. If you cannot let go of those things, then you are in idol worship. People think that idol worship has to do with the big altars and some, 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 some animal or some goddess. Yes, those things are part of it. But sometimes the devil who disguises himself as light uses the most mundane, simple things to be our downfall okay so like i mentioned i don't want this video to be too long i also don't want to talk about what is obvious that beyonce is doing that goes against christianity that goes against what god demands of us it's, you know what especially if you call yourself a christian it's another thing if you if maybe you haven't you don't even know god you don't even know the bible you know i think you know we don't we're not talking to people who do not know we pray that they come to the full knowledge because we also did, we didn't know. But to people who actually know the word of God, who say they are Christians, and you are still like defending Beyonce, you're still supporting her. 
I'm not gonna condemn, I'm not gonna judge or anything like that, but I pray that if you really wanna grow into your relationship with God, that you receive his instructions when he's telling you. I took me probably a long time to get to this point to even come and share with you because I actually, like I mentioned, I actually mourned letting go of Beyonce. I unsubscribed and everything, deleted everything that I had, you know, all her music, everything, 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 everything. You know, so if you want to know more about the deep, I'm actually going to pin Jackie Hill's uh, reflection of the, her, her, her God moment warning when it came to Beyonce. Because I think she really kind of talks to scripture, she talks to references, she talks to biblical uh, references and practical references that they were always there. But like any beat Beyonce fan, we just like, we're not going to talk about I'm supporting Beyonce, okay? So I pray that this word, I pray, I pray this uh, testimony or st my story kind of maybe is that final confirmation for someone who maybe is still on the fence about, for me, I don't even want to, you know, like I mentioned, Beyonce is not going to come through me and my eternity. Okay. In the Old Testament, I think around Leviticus when the laws were being written, uh, the Bible says that, you know, there will come a time when people cannot be ignorant, you know. And later on in, in in the letters of Paul, Paul says that we cannot be ignorant to the enemy's devices. There will come a time where we cannot ignore the obvious. We actually in a time when we when we have been equipped by the Holy Spirit, been equipped by God, that we cannot ignore things anymore. We can say all we want, we can we can close our ears, we can comment in people's polls. But in the depths of our spirits and in our hearts, when we are alone, in our own places of, of just uh, silence, that still small voice, God is always speaking to us. And you don't need to be convinced by anybody else. You know, you've seen it. There's, there's certain things in that dream about, about, my, about the final warning that I was like, she's not that big. I'm going to pray for this woman. I'm going to pray for many other people who are... Who are lost in this in this world because the devil is the prince of air you know in the book of isaiah uh, the prophet isaiah through through god says that she was he was the angel of the morning star he was the one who was built with instruments he's talking about satan he's talking about lucifer he has so much influence when it comes to music because even when you look at the world he is influential through music and we 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 think this is all coincidence listen his whole body his whole makeup was was made up of instruments and the area that he's influencing many people is through music and um yeah like i mentioned i'm not going to go through the details there are a lot of people who have been explaining the details from a biblical and practical practical perspective you know go check it out i'm going to pin jackie hill's comment here on my on the description below so yeah anyway so i pray that uh, we continue to pray for a lot of people like uh, beyonce not just beyonce but a lot of people especially now in 2023 people are being bold you know towards the end of the coming of christ it says that uh, satan will see that he's running out of time he will go out you you know he will just go all out with his with his nonsense and try to deceive many and you really need to be blind not to see what's happening in the world it is foolishness okay it is foolishness that sometimes there's certain things in my life that i grew up in where i was like i can't believe that actually happened to me oh this was the reason why this happened to me oh this was why this has happened to me everything all comes back together it all comes back to a full circle moment it is not like a shock it's like oh the signs were always there okay i'm also going to pin to another video so one from jackie hill and one from another lady i just forgot her name and i really want you guys it, can, it, it like i mentioned you guys can you need to receive a personal revelation for yourself that's a part of what people piggyback on other people's revelation before i wouldn't have even listened to a jackie hill's commentary about beyonce i just thought she was crazy like she has not she, you know, but once you receive a personal warning, a personal revelation for yourself, you are not so judgmental, condemning, or what other people are saying about certain topics because 
yeah what she saw i saw it too and uh, god is speaking to all of his children he will confirm his word by two or three witnesses so i pray that you take this as a as a nudge you know and do your own research don't allow just social media to be your source of information ask the holy spirit to reveal things to you because he will if you ask him you know the book of james says that when you ask uh, and you, you ask for wisdom god will give it to you because you're asking it from a place of really innocence you want to know what's going on and just off topic of beyonce there's also other things that are happening in our world especially where i'm from in africa you know spirituality african spiritual spirituality is such a thing you know it's such a big topic now before it was such a silent topic it was there but it wasn't as mainstream as it is the way people are glorifying mediums and and what people call sangomas and and people who are like they, they are giving so many names now so so called fancy names but everybody's everybody in the nutshell is doing the same thing they're practicing they're operating in divination they're speaking to the dead they are mixing um worldly practices which is divination witchcraft to godly principles and some people think that by blending the both they are not in the wrong but listen i have people that i know personally i have people that i have witnessed i have been in the midst of it growing up as a child i didn't have no idea what it was but when you are part of this life and you are coming to christ it is going to be a battle okay all i can say when i was pushing through kind of getting out of this a way of of life uh through just influences in my own personal life it was a fight you know i went to i fought tooth and nail with the devil it was it's something out of the movie you know you don't speak we don't speak about these things but maybe one day when the holy spirit leads me to speak about it i will but it was a fight so you need to fight for your children what they watch not everything they watch is innocent medium the media is controlled by the world it's controlled by the god of the air which is satan uh, you know god jesus tells us that now he's moved from being the angel of the morning star to being the the prince of the air so he knows because he rebelled and how you know somebody is operating from the spirit is that they're so rebellious they're so prideful you cannot tell them anything they are boastful they are pushovers they have this assurance on what they're doing which is nonsense and yes the angel lucifer is powerful but he doesn't have any authority but he is one of the one of god's uh, main angels i think he was an archangel amongst michael and gabriel so he does have power and he the the, the stuff that people actually operate and actually does you see you see stuff you know it's you see real spiritual activity real supernatural activity it's not a joke it really does happen um my pastor was saying the other day people are um, the problem about divination and other occults and this other dark side of the kingdom of this world is that it intrigues you but it never edifies you how many times have you watched things on tv or heard stories growing up you were always intrigued but you were never edified you were left with trying to think um i wonder how that happened but it, it actually either brought more fear or it made you want to try it because you were intrigued out of ignorance some people do it out of ignorance unknowingly um you know the word of god says in Isaiah that people perish because of lack of knowledge but you are never edified god's word edifies you god's peace edifies you god's ways edify you the enemy just wants to intrigue you wants to snare you wants to trap you and he will use different ways he will use pretty faces he will use pretty things he will use people that are very influential in this world you know he like I always tell my family, one thing the devil is good at is to kill, to kill, steal, and destroy. His company logo is to kill, steal, and destroy. Company objective is to kill, and kill, steal, and destroy. His mandate is to use different ways in this world to get people lured, and he is good at what he does. Like he wakes up with that vision in mind, you know. So, so he's good at what he does. So anyway, I pray that you guys really. This is just an honest transparent video i tried to really share where i'm coming from and the and the lies that the enemy tried to to put in me and i was also blind you know it's possible to to be a christian and also the, the difference between that time I, I as much as i knew maybe what i was doing was like mm, 
why am I so obsessed with this woman? Why am I so defending her cause? I just want to quickly say, pray about it, seek God's face. There's nothing liberating than coming to yourself and saying, God, I need to know who you are. I need to experience you in my day-to-day -day life. I need to, it's not a, it's not like you're trying to be something that you're not. It's the, the deepest yearning in every human being is to, is to be one with the Father. As much as we don't know, we try many things to get this oneness and it leaves us empty. But the only person that can truly help us from this dark world is God himself. It's through the person of Jesus Christ. It's through the actioning, through the Holy Spirit. And once you come to the surrender posture and the willingness to hear from God, it's all uphill from there. God is, you know, there's another side of a Christianity that is so like you floating in heaven while you're still on earth. I cannot even describe how when you make a decision to really seek the things of God and how he shows up. But while you're still on the fence about certain things in your life, he, he will be something but a figment of your imagination. You won't experience him because God is holy. He's not going to put himself in a place where he's still trying to fight for your attention. You know, so I really do pray that this message about my my stopping of supporting Beyonce and the subtle messages. This took time. The way the way I'm describing this video is so it's so high level. You know, if I had to go down the detail, the dream that I had, how I took all my stuff and I threw it away. Actually, how I even cut the stuff because I didn't want anybody else to take it. You know, I wanted to destroy this. That's how that's how convicted I was. And I pray that um, anybody who might be in the same place, not necessarily about Beyonce, but anything in your life that's an idol, that that God helps you see beyond letting go of those things. And he makes you see how he can show you things in your life for the future. And another thing that is very important is when you get your personal revelation, you're not so easily influenced by people's backlash about these things because there's certain things that you just cannot unsee. And I was saying earlier on, this is not that deep. The answer is not going to come between me and my eternity. She is human being. To dust she came, to dust she will return, just like you and me. So just remember that. So I pray that this message is rings home to you and God bless you. Bye. Bye.